Okay, in the last one we learned how to use all of these predetermined shapes that we have up here. But what if the object you're drawing is not one of those predetermined shapes and you want to do something different? Well, you can do that. We can come to the draw area right here. But notice, our number one used to be line. Now it's polyline. Because remember, in previous instructions, polyline, as long as you're clicking, it's still considered one line. So think about it. If you were to draw one continual line and made a square, it'd be a solid square that you could extrude. That's where this comes in handy. You can extrude, loft, revolve, and sweep. So let's show you what you can do if you don't have something that's out of this perfect set. We're going to come to just use our regular line. We're going to come in here and we're just going to draw a random shape. Nothing big and fancy, something that is not the norm or the other. Now notice, these are in line. Every piece is absolutely separate. Okay? At this point, I'm going to go ahead and copy this a couple of times, just so you can see what this is all about. There's one, and there's another. So these are all identical. Now, if I come here to extrude, and with extrude, I select all of these objects. See how, how it comes up as chicken wire? And let's put this on conceptual. It looks like sheets of paper. But the thing is, with each one of these, I could come in here and move them. Whoops. I can move these out. I can do some things to these that it's going to break the object. Nothing's absolutely solid about this. Not a good thing. So the next thing I can do, I have a couple of options. Directly underneath the draw command, I can come to this one right here, which is called region. What it does is if I choose reason, region and select all of my pieces and right click, notice how it actually turned to us like a solid looking shape. Well, this solid looking shape, it turns it like a sheet of paper. It closed all those pieces together. If I turn this conceptual off and went to wireframe, notice how it's all one piece together. I'll leave this on here as wireframe so you can see it a little bit better. It turned it to a sheet of paper. Now if, whoops, hang on. If I went from here and I actually went and did my extrude and I chose this and I pulled this up, it is now a complete solid. You see that? If I go here to my wireframe, you can see the difference chicken wire, individual pieces. This is one big piece. Because that region area, put it all together. Okay, now this last one. Say I didn't want to do the region. And remember when I did the region, it immediately made this a solid so it's shaded in? I can do a simple command called P-E-D-I-T. It's called P-Edit. It means polyline edit. The first thing I do is I pick any line. And it says, hey, this is not a polyline. Do you want to make it one? Yes. It says, okay, I made it a polyline for you. What do you want to do? Well, I want to join them together. And then I select all my lines and right click and enter. Now, if you look, check this out. The polylines all won together. But you notice as in this one here, it was solid through because this one, when I did the region, not only did it make it a solid, it made it a solid that had a surface. This only made it as a solid. So it was a little bit different. So now let's go to extrude. If we pick extrude, pick our object, right click enter, we can bring this up. This and this will end up the same. But there is some differences on it. Remember this one, the bottom was shaded immediately. This one was not. This said it was a sheet of paper. This was showing that it was just the outside shape. So there's different things. So these are individual lines which will never make it solid. This is a region command which is located in the draw and it's that command right here. You select them. Remember, all of these lines have to be on the same plane and on top of it, the lines cannot be crossing over or they have to be completely closed. This one was P-Edit, where you actually physically take one line, change it to a polyline, and join them together. 
it's considered a complete piece, but it doesn't have that shaded in to start. So you have three options to use. So not 3D, which will get you in trouble, 3D using region, and 3D using P edit. Your choice, pick whatever is easiest for you. Remember, this little guy over here is not going to work. And if you use your explode command, which is still available hidden under modify right there, you're going to end up like this, and this will not be 3D. It is not going to be a good thing for you. You're going to have to start your work over. Remember, you explode something, you can never unexplode unless you do an undo immediately. All right? So that's your little P edit region making things into a 3D object. All right.